Guys, let us know, are we crazy? Does this have beer in it? Or like, is this an alcoholic drink? Soda, pop, Coke, fizzy drinks. Whatever you call it, we're here to review it. We're back with another Americans Try British Things. This time, fizzy drinks edition. Yeah, and while all of these are not necessarily fizzy drinks, they are drinks and they're from the UK and we're excited to give it a go. So let's dive on in. First up, is Iron Brew. We are gonna be comparing a bunch of different drinks. We're gonna give it a sniff, give it a sip, and a score. <laughs> and at the very end, if I can get it open, we're going to give you our overall review and just how they stack up to one another. Yep, these are gonna be scored out of 10, and we picked these specific drinks because, um, well, we looked up what are the most popular drinks in the UK and we found some of those. Some we just saw in stores a few times over and um, a couple that were on the list of most popular, both Jordan and I have had them before. So we decided to forgo them. Uh, I can already smell it. Yeah, like Schweppes. We've both had that one before. But Iron Brew, you have had and I've not. Yes, so we had this or I had this, excuse me, when we were in Scotland, when we took the family up there to visit, I noticed it was extremely popular. It was on all the little convenience stores. Um, and apparently it's more popular than Coke or Pepsi products. Um, it's exclusively brewed in Scotland um, since 1901. Uh, I already gave it a sniff. Wow, this smells crazy. It like does, yes. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. Like orangey and also cream soda y, but it kind of also smells like medicine. There's kind of a strong. <laughs> I remember when we were there, we were getting some ads while watching TV and noticed that, uh, yeah, there's a quite a big debate as to what it tastes like. Yeah, but they're I can't like, stop smelling it. It smells like. Like it really almost smells like Motrin. <laughs> <laughs> like like the, like the kid's medicine. Okay. But try they have uh, Iron Brew, Iron Brew Extra, and Iron Brew Zero. But I figure we'll start with the original. Okay. So. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. I it mean, kind of changes in taste for me. Like it starts off as a cream soda almost, and then it changes into a sharper like hits you taste. With an orange. Yeah. It, like. It's, I think it almost smells different than it tastes. Like, yeah, I don't really know. Yeah, that tastes, is strange. It smells med medicine-y. Mm -hmm. yeah. Medicinal? Yeah, medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it was just on smell, I wouldn't like this, but the taste is actually quite nice. Yes, but I agree. I was reading about it a little bit before we started filming, and I guess it used to be spelled like iron brew, like the way you would spell those words, and they changed it because it's not technically brewed, so they changed it to BRU. And then uh, I think the removing of the O in iron was more of like a style choice, so that way it was like iron brew. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's- I think um, it's supposed to be an energy drink, right? I don't know. I don't know. I really like this stuff. Um, I ended up buying two bottles while in Scotland and having that, um, just cause I was so surprised by the first time that I needed to go back and yeah, try it again. It's definitely so. not something that you can sip once and be like, ah, I know how I feel about this. Yeah, really, like you really have to like keep, like I keep going back because it's, it's very strange. Yeah. How would you rate this? Honestly, it's pretty darn good. The smell kind of knocks it down for me. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but it, it really does kind of smell like Motrin. So, uh, but the taste is delicious. I think I'm gonna give it an eight. I would also put it in an eight. Oh, look at yeah, that. Yeah, it's All really right. good. I think- Iron Brew I've, coming in yeah, at I'm 16. Really, I really wanna try the extra one and the diet one and see if there's Do a little bit Do they have other of flavors or is it always orange? I've only, well, I don't even know if it's orange, but I've only seen it in this style. They haven't advertised. It, there's no way it's not orange, right? It I don't know. It. That's what the big debate is. <laughs> but it doesn't. <laughs> I'll have to show you the, the advertisement for it. It's it's pretty wild. You look prettier than a can of Iron Brew. Mm, I love its cream soda taste. It's not cream soda. No. It's lemony. Next up we have Lilt. 
And just so you guys are aware, all of these were sitting inside of the refrigerator before we started drinking them. So I don't know if any of them are meant to be drunk at room temperature, but uh, this one says best served chilled on the back. So, and I prefer all of my, my sodas, my, my pops, my fizzy drinks, <laughs> I prefer them cold. So I think that's gonna give at least me the best reaction that I could get. Very precious table. <laughs> precious table with water stains all over it. <laughs> this was the only bottle that I was able to find. I, yeah, it's a big I <laughs> have seen some smaller ones, um, but this one is pineapple and grapefruit. I don't know if- This is the original, like OG oh, is flavor. It? Okay. Yeah. So from what I was seeing is that it was inspired by the Caribbean. The thought was to have something that was going to be like really light and refreshing. And they came up with uh, this, this flavor combo, which I like pineapple a lot and grapefruit is unoffensive. So I'm going to give it a sniff. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Oh, that was really nice. It smells like a, <laughs> like a really pleasant hand soap. But it doesn't smell like soap. It just smells like, you know, like if you go to like Bath and Body Works or whatever, it's like that, like, mm, mm, yeah, summer vibes. It's like even the smell has a little bit of a zip to it. Mm -hmm. So. All right, taste. Are we gonna cheers every time? Yeah, as well. <laughs> That's a, not quite the taste I thought it was gonna be. It's not bad, but it's a little bit on the tart side. It's definitely on the tart side. It's got like a lemonade vibe, but like a sparkling lemonade. I think it's really nice. It's very refreshing. Yeah, is it the pineapple that I'm not? I bet it's it's the grapefruit that you're confused mm -hmm. on. But I think it's really pleasant. I think the one, I love the smell of this one. It's giving me all of the summertime vibes, springtime vibes, I think which I like. I think it's got a pretty low carbonation level. Yep, it's a, it's, it's a very mild drink, but I think it's, for me at least, really pleasant. <laughs> it's like, it's so hard to tell when you've never had a drink before and it's just like a variety of flavors, whether or not you're liking it right away or like you have to take like three or four steps. Yeah, you really do. <laughs> I, yeah, this one's tough. I'm curious to see if, if it pairs well with rum or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, with it being so tart, but mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you give this as your rating? How are you feeling? I a would bit, say probably unoffensive at like a four and a half Whoa. out of ten. Like, I almost want to put it half, but I think it's just a bit too tart for me. Whoa! That was... Lower than I was expecting. I think I liked it just as much as the Iron Brew. I'm all. I'm gonna give this one an eight. Like for me at least, it just felt like at least I know what I was getting. Like it says pineapple and grapefruit. That's exactly what this tastes like. So and it's uh it's very refreshing. I like it. I think it's pleasant. I like fruity stuff though. We decided to introduce coasters <laughs> despite the fact that the table's already water stained. This one is um, what we decided to get because we could not find Idris fiery ginger beer is what we were aiming for. Yeah, so this is Costin Press I, ginger beer. I think it's Costin Press. Ah, yeah, you'd be, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> I just can't read. Costin Press ginger beer. Um, this is a, apparently a new brand. Um, it's very popular all over Sainsbury's and the local petrol station, um, so I, kind of made the executive decision to get it as we wanted to try a ginger beer. I poured you a lot more than me because I don't particularly like ginger beer. Gotta give it the good old sniff. Oh. Ooh. That's an interesting smell. Uh, on the can, they advertise that um, life's best pressed with root ginger, uh, pressed apples <laughs> and <sorry>. sparkling water. <laughs> <laughs> like covering it. Yeah, you can immediately smell the apples. I think it's supposed to be like a slightly healthier version of fizzy drinks. Like hmm. just a little lighter, cleaner ingredients. It says only but... 89 calories per can. Oh, it smells like ginger. I ironically don't like. <laughs> oh. Kind of just <sighs> tastes like a weird. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, it tastes like a really weird apple juice or like a apple <laughs> cider, like like the warm apple cider, but it's cold and it's got a weird undertaste. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like, like it's like the worst. Remember cider, but none of those like, things. <laughs> it's like the worst part of uh, apple cider. Mm. Cold. Yeah, throw in something <laughs> else bad. <laughs> I can't keep describing this warm apple cider. Because it, it's, all I taste is the apple. I don't taste <laughs> as much of the root ginger. I feel like all I taste is the root ginger. I just not for me, fam. Yeah, I usually like the ginger beer. Nope, I'm out. Um, I'm gonna give it a one. Wow. Yeah, I did not like that. I'm one sip, I'm gonna I didn't really say want. three. Ben Shaw's is next on the list. I don't know much about this one, um, but it's got an interesting can. It says uh, bitter shandy, softer than it looks. Um, I literally have no idea what that means. Yeah. What the heck is a bitter shandy? Apparently it's made with <laughs> British beer. Okay, so let's crack this bad boy open. What I do know is that the dog on the logo was the owner's original dog. He, he got immortalized in the logo there. And then um, it's one of the oldest sodas or fizzy drinks in the UK. I think it's been around for like 150 years or so. I have no idea yeah, what a British 18, Shandy is. 1871, or at least British since 1871. Whoa, it smells like beer. Yeah, it does. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does have beer in it. What? That would explain it. Yep. What's so much for non-alcoholic version? It doesn't have an alcohol content on it though. There's no warning. Guys, let us know, are we crazy? Does this have beer in it? Or like, is this an alcoholic drink? I think it's just made with beer because it has bar. Yeah, it says, it says carbonated lemon flavored soft drink with beer. So it does have beer in it. It's well, it's probably just the beer and it doesn't have the things that turn it into alcohol. So it's just like malted and fermented, but it's yeah. not. Yeah. Well, fermented would make it alcoholic. Yeah. Is this alcoholic? It doesn't say it is. There's no warning on it. Is this alcoholic? Tell us. Okay. It smells like beer. Yeah. <laughs> Bitter she and B. It's weird. like a beginning taste of almost. Like it's like, like trying a... to be a beer. Yeah. And then it just stops. Yeah, really. <laughs> Because it has, like, they really got rid of, like, the worst parts of beer in a way, like. Or if it doesn't actually make you drunk, they got rid of the best parts of beer. That's <laughs> And they're like, you know how people like the taste of beer? That's not me. But then they also have the 0.0, .0 alcoholic drinks. Yeah, but I guess that know. has, like, 0. 0.0001%. <laughs> yeah, this is odd because it almost starts, like, sweet, like, in a cola -y way. Mm -hmm. But then it shifts to that beer taste right at the end. Yeah. And what's... I think weirder is like, I don't hate it. I don't hate it in the way that I strongly dislike the ginger beer or gin yeah, ginger beer, but I don't particularly love it. And I might be just a little beard out from Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I'm good for a while. I would have to rate this a five. I think I put it above Lilt. I'm gonna put it above the ginger beer, but it is nowhere near Lilt level for me. I'm gonna give it a three. I know that they have other drinks in different flavors and I would be really interested to try something like that because I feel like it, what they did with this was very interesting and I think could be great, but... That makes sense now. What? Why it's soft. Like hard alcohol, but it's soft. It's soft. Oh. It's softer than it looks. <laughs> okay, we might just be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> now we have Lucasade, which is another one that Jordan has tried before, but I have not. Um, I did do an, I feel like Hermione, I just keep saying like, I did a bit of reading, but I did do a little bit of reading about this. And I, from what I understand, this was originally introduced as a type of basically tonic for people that were feeling ill and it was originally called glucosade because there's glucose in it. Um, at least that's what I would presume that's why they call it that. But it was just a way to, you know, give people energy that were feeling under the weather. And now it's just kind of an energy drink. Yeah, I've seen these a lot with sports ads, which I think is interesting because I mean, it really is just a sparkling drink with glucose 
sugar and sweeteners. Mm -hmm. um, it's giving me Gatorade vibes yeah. just from the first sniff. But this is just the original one, and I know there's different flavors. There's zero sugar or zero calories, I'm so not sure. Like, there's basically different varieties of it. I think in a way it is kind of similar to what Gatorade is. And you look mm -hmm. at this and go, well, this is just a yeah, just sugar a energy soda. drink. Like, It is. I mean, it's super sparkling. Gatorade, if you've ever had it, is not a sparkling drink. It's just like a, I'm going to say a Powerade, which is probably another thing Whoa. that they don't have here. Haven't you had this before? Yeah, I just forgot. <laughs> I had it probably when we first moved here because I saw it everywhere and I was like, oh, I'm just curious what it is. Why is it so popular? What do I see it all over the place? It's a lot of sugar. Is Tell it? right away, I think. Like, mm -hmm. I think that this, the look of it, and it could just be because Iron Brew sitting over there, it makes me feel like it's gonna taste like Iron Brew. And then Iron Brew is definitely a lot more powerful when it comes to the flavors. But um, I, this, this one, is, it's decent. I like it. It's just kind of like sugary water mm -hmm. that, that is spark. I mean, we said that it's before, like a but like, Gatorade. yeah. But even like the flavor, it kind of just tastes like sugar. Like I don't know what to taste. Like compare this to. Yeah, like my head wants to go. Oh, it tastes like orange, but it, I don't think it does. I think you're right. It's just it's just sweet and pleasant and fizzy. I wonder what parts of it, like whether the components of it are similar to like Gatorade and Powerade and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, is it a post-workout sports drink kind of thing? Yeah. Or is it just more like Red Bull in terms of an energy drink? Yeah. I don't really know. So uh, oh. another thing to let us know in the comments down below. We could read the bottle, but i um, curious to hear what you guys think. Is it thought of more of like a workout associated thing or more like I can't get through this office meeting without some Lucasade, right? I think that's decent. I don't think it's as good as Iron Brew, because Iron Brew just, it makes you think about it, you know? Um, and it's not quite as good as the Lilt for me. So I'm gonna go seven. It was still really decent. I would go six. It's, I think too much sugar. I think different flavors or even some of their other varieties would definitely bump that score up. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, I know everybody's going to comment on the fact that you're saying too much sugar, but we're American. Like everybody's <laughs> going to be like, how could you say it has too much sugar? Yeah, I don't know. I think it <laughs> you're just, from America. <laughs> I think it just kind of like, we've grown accustomed to things at least a little bit here and how they have a little less sugar. And then this is just kind of a slap in the face. Like, hey, sugar, we're here. <laughs> Next we have Rubina, sparkling black currant. Again, very popular flavor is black currant here. Mm -hmm. um, usually not a fan, but uh, we'll see in liquid form. I think we're tastes. probably not a fan because we don't we didn't grow up with black currant. Yeah. Because black currant is illegal in the U.S. Hmm. It was banned in 1911 because black currants, trees, bushes, plants, were uh, killing off pine trees. So they uh, will not let us grow them in the U.S. I think you can still find some like black currant flavored things, you know, things get imported, but yeah, we don't, we don't have black currant the way that the UK has black currant. I would say we have, your black currant is our like grape, you know, like you'll find grape flavored drinks, grape yeah. flavored snacks, grape so raisins, like that kind of thing. Pretty good comparison, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really common. Yeah. The, um, the Rabina brand, has different flavors. Um, I know this one comes in uh, still and sparkling. You can even get it in a concentrated form. You can get it in a more juice version, I think. <laughs> um, it's all over the place. So hopefully we chose the right flavor and its popularity. Um, but I'm very... I will say I'm a little nervous. I was reading the bottle to see if we could find out if this is a concentrate or if this is a drink. Because I've seen people online drink the Ribena concentrate and uh, it's powerful stuff from what I see. So it looks like this is just meant to be drink as is. I guess we'll find out with the first sip though. If we take a sip and we're like, whoa, then we know that that's not. That's not it kind of smells like a grape juice or like a, um, a cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's... This doesn't feel very sparkling to me. Oh, I think it's 
like perfect sparkling. Yeah, it's really good. I it's really fresh. I can't believe we haven't had this. Yeah, I like we said it's very popular. I see it all over the place, but mm -hmm. I think part of me was hesitant to grab it because of that black currant mm -hmm. flavor. You know why this drink got so popular here? No. After World War II, this was given out to free to children because it has black currant has really high levels of vitamin C. So it was given out for free to try and help uh, balance all the vitamin levels that people were very much lacking during that time period. So yeah, it got really, really popular. I would probably have to rate this a seven. I, I would almost put it at an eight in comparison. Like I could probably pick this up again and mm -hmm. be all right with it. For sure. But yeah, it's just missing something. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm also going to give it a seven. I think exactly what you said. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Next drink is Oasis. This one just kind of seems to be some sort of juice. Don't know much about it, but this was the uh, summer fruits flavor. So hopefully if we pick the right one, they did seem to have the most of this flavor. Um, ooh, already I can smell it. Yeah, it, holy cow. Pretty potent. It's so strong. <laughs> yeah, it's a- uh, Real fruit, natural fruit. Little, little, little. Kind of a- <laughs> Real fruit, natural flavors. <laughs> Yeah, you can kind of smell the um, pictures of the strawberry and cherry. Is this a concentrate? This smells so strong. It'd be kind of wild to have it in a small bottle like that as a concentrate because I saw it at the petrol station. Okay, it definitely smells stronger than it tastes. Yeah, it does. Like when you take the sip of it, it feels watered down. Why do the flavors feel or taste nostalgic? I feel like there's a medicine in the US that tastes like this. Like it smells and tastes like something. You know what I think it is? It tastes like fruit snacks, but in liquid form. Oh, hold on. I think you're right. It does kind of taste like, yeah. a, like a liquefied fruit snack. Oh, that's too funny. Yeah. Yeah, I that's, think you might be it. I don't know what's making me think of medicine though. Yeah, that is wild. This is, this is like a whole experience. This Very nostalgic kid snack. <laughs> now in a liquid form or always <laughs> always was yeah i don't know yeah it's interesting it's not necessarily like my favorite drink no, but I think I it's not pick, bad either i just i think i would pick rabina over this if i was going for mm -hmm. a, a fruity drink mm -hmm. but it's definitely it's definitely good i'm gonna give it a five yeah i am gonna i mean yeah i'm gonna go with a five too i think unoffensive right there this time we have Zimto. Uh, don't really know much about this one. Uh, it looks like I asked Jordan what flavor it is and he said yes. So. <laughs> yep, they did not have uh, any variety or any indication as to what this was. It was also pretty hard to find. Uh, yeah. This is the ones that we were struggling to find are in the really big bottles. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, not even gonna try. Yeah. It. The back has all kinds of things listed from carrots to raspberries, grape, black currant. Oh, okay. It kind of smells like iron brew. Maybe I'm crazy. No, there's, you've got something okay. there. But it smells like a comp Yeah, like if I am iron brew and Oasis had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> a little <laughs> bit. But there's like this initial smell I don't know if it's a chemical or what that's in Iron Brew that is giving that same smell again. It's kind of got like an Iron Brew hit to it when you sip it too. It's yes. Like, it's like that one quality you just can't put your finger what? on. What? I like how enamored you are with these drinks. This is so <laughs> weird. Because I thought this was going to be like a carbonated oasis. Yeah. That's what, I, that's what I was like, all right, we're kind of on like a purple yeah. kick. <laughs> we're going to do so all the purple weird. drinks. But th yeah, they're so different from each other. Yeah, but it is kind of the same, like. Yeah, there's just that that indescribable quality. You going back for more? No, I was just, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to spill the whole thing by accident. You just chugged the bottle on yeah. the screen. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and rate it at an eight. I'm also giving it an eight. It's just, yeah, it's unique, I like it. Now we have Fentimans. At least that's how I'm gonna say it. Uh, dandelion and burdock, this, if it tastes like dandelion, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if I've ever had anything dandelion flavored, and I don't know what burlock is, which just could be a fail on me. But this brand and style of bottle is 
at least very popular. They have cola and all sorts of like different takes on some things. It smells wild. Why how do all of these drinks smell so crazy? Um, and we are rinsing out these glasses between each take so that way it's not like carrying flavors over from drink to drink. Wow, it smells so strange. Yeah, like I I don't know what it is. This almost smells natural in a way. Like you can really kind of get that. Getting hints of dandelion. Dandelion, yeah. <laughs> Like this one again describes it on the back as unmistakable. And that's really all I got to describe it is all of these just, once you smell it, you're gonna be like, yep, that's it. Don't think I like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> it like sat in my mouth for an eternity before I could make a decision. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a little too weird for me. Yeah. I don't, oh, and it lingers too. Yeah, mm. it's got an aftertaste. I just, I don't feel like this one's for me. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm gonna give it a, a four. Like it's, yeah, it's just not hitting it. I'm gonna go with like a two. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this one's a this one's a mess for me. Sorry. Yeah. So soda folks, cream soda. Let's give it a try. Try the UK's version of cream soda. Mm -hmm. This one we really picked up because when we were doing our England versus America try video with Ollie and Ellie, we tried to describe cream soda to them and they had never, or at least Ollie had never heard of it before and it was cracking us up. And we found cream soda in the UK. So I think that was an Ollie thing, not a UK <laughs> thing. I'm not knowing what cream soda was. He thought it was a like sparkling water, remember? Yeah, or, like club or, soda. Yeah, or we try to describe um, like cream and he's like, what cream flavor? Is yeah, <laughs> he's like, how does it taste of cream? So yeah. I highly recommend you check out that video and give it a little bit of love because Ollie and Ellie were fantastic for coming on the channel with us. But here we go. Yeah, it's cream soda. Oh, that's a, a bit tart, but I mean, yeah, it's close. I would say it's not as strong as American cream soda, but like, a blind taste test, I could tell you that's cream soda. Yeah. Yeah, I would say it's definitely different though, like what you were saying. Um, you say it's not as strong. I would disagree. I would say it's strong on the beginning taste. Mm. But at least in American cream soda, I feel like the finish is a lot smoother than this one. This one is like, boom, cream soda, and then it's gone. Like, <laughs> I like how the longer we go on this, the more we start to sound like wine connoisseurs mm. or whatever. Like, mm. I'm getting notes of dandelion and the finish was smooth. Ah, uh, like. yes, some Madagascar vanilla. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's good. I think I'm glad we got a chance to try UK cream soda. Yeah, yeah I would probably rate this four, four and a half. I'm gonna give it a seven. I like cream soda. Mm, all right. The last addition to the list was Rubicon. Um, this is a black cherry raspberry. Um, it is sparkling, which is just like a spring water with some fruit juice, I guess. Mm -hmm. They advertise this as light and only 12 calories. I think that this one's probably gonna be at least a little bit different because instead of being focused on black currant, this one's got a black cherry flavor. Yeah, so, you can definitely smell it right away. Ooh, yeah. It's uh, not bad with the smell, let's give it a taste. It's got that really tart cherryness yeah, to it. Yeah, you're not a fan of cherry though, so. I know, not as much. Yeah, it's okay. I, I'm i not gonna go out of my way to get it, but yeah, I mean, it's good. I would probably rate it like a six or a seven, like mm -hmm. for me. I know you're probably gonna rate it a low. My guess is three. Three, yeah, wow. look. <laughs> Definitely not as high and it, it, there's a chance I might have rated this one a little bit higher if it was earlier in the list, but honestly, I'm getting a little sugared out. So I'm ready for the last one. And uh, last but not least, Tango. This one, we've got Orange Original. I'm really excited about this one because I've seen it everywhere. And uh, I don't know what's been preventing me from trying it for so long. Maybe I always thought that we were gonna do one of these videos. Um, but we definitely tend to do that like yeah. avoid certain types of food because we're like oh what if we make a video this one the labeling of it the like exploding orange makes me feel like it's going to be an energy drink of some kind but i'm not specifically seeing that labeled on there yeah my guess is it's um a different take on fanta it smells like a different take on fanta Ooh. i feel like that was the perfect way to describe it before you even had a whiff 
Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump into the taste before I... It's like yellow though. Like it definitely looks more orange here, but once you pour it into a glass. Okay, that is a different take, but in a way that's like, is that more like Fanta in the States? Yes, I would 100% agree. So Fanta here, from what we have tried, is like a carbonated orange juice. And I don't mean like, I don't mean like an orange drink that is flavored like, like from orange. From an orange like, pulp. Yes, like squeezed carbonated, <laughs> like, like a non-alcoholic mimosa. That's how I would describe Fanta here. But in the States, I think it's more like this. Like it's a, a fake flavor of orange. Yeah, I think part of, at least from why Fanta is like that is it has to go back to like World War II. And I think, vitamin C. you know, correct me if I'm wrong, like the, the war caused shipping issues with all of that and Coca-Cola and uh, they had to find a way to make Fanta locally instead of importing the certain ingredients. But anyways, I digress. This. It's more like US Fanta or US Sunkissed. Mm -hmm. Things of that variety. Wow, it's kind of giving me all the vibes of back home. Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. So, with a little bit of vibes from back home, how would you rate it? I'm actually gonna give it a nine. Yeah, I think I'd give it a nine too. Wow. I was you I was surprised right by this. Yeah, you picked the right one to finish with. <laughs> I think I was expecting kind of more orange, but mm -hmm. tart, like that tart kind of explosion almost. Mm -hmm. But it's really good. I would so. say overall, the thing that surprised me the most about these is that none of them hit the way I thought they were going to. Yeah. I think a lot of people tend to describe food in the UK as being bland or just lacking flavor, but I would not really describe any of these drinks that way. They were all super unique. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we did this video. I feel like I'm gonna be more adventurous with my Tesco meal deals now. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video with Tango being the overall winner here. Yeah, very nostalgic, it's good flavorful wonderful i think we're gonna go ahead and finish here guys because i am suppressing the world's biggest burp right now but thank you so much for watching if you made it this far go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below let us know what you think in the comment section and give us a follow on socials we're trying really hard to to up that we're a bit behind but we're getting caught up and with that we will see you guys next week bye